Hey everyone, it's John Pinson coming to you from Vancouver, Canada. Today I'm going to be talking about interest rates and where they're going in the foreseeable future. Massive news today from Stats Canada coming out with a report that GDP came in way lower than expected. Uh, the Bank of Canada was expecting 2.8% and we came in at 1.7% annualized over the year. Um, so what does this mean for uh, buyers and homeowners going into the month of June? Well, uh, the markets are now predicting uh, instead of 66% chance, it's now an 80% chance. And there was a poll just conducted uh, between May 23rd and May 29th uh, uh, with economists and 22 out of 29 economists that were surveyed um, said yes, the, there will be an interest rate cut. So there's roughly over 75% of economists that replied. Um, and the uh, market was saying 66%. And now with the GDP figures coming in way lower than expected, and furthermore, uh, the fourth quarter GDP was revised from 1% annualized down to 0.1%. So we were 0.1% away um, from a technical recession in the fourth quarter of uh, 2023. Uh, so this is all strong data for Tiff Macklem, the Bank of Canada, uh, showing that the, the economy is struggling, it's sluggish, and we need to stimulate the economy and see a rebound. So uh, my personal opinion, I think we're closer to a 90% chance, and I'd say most economists are around a 90% chance of agreement in a rate cut next week due to the fact that they were 75% in favor uh, a few days ago before this GDP data came out. Uh, it's way lower than expected. And so most economists are predicting it's going to happen next week. Uh, four out of six major bank economists uh, surveyed say it's going to happen next week. Um, however, TD Bank is saying it's not going to happen until July, end of July. But even with that caveat, TD is expecting four rate cuts to happen until the end of the year, ending at 4% overnight rate, uh, down from where we are at 5% today. Um, and in general, 14 of 29, uh, 14 of 29 economists see uh, the interest rate st uh, ending at 4% uh, at the end of the year and another 14 at 4.25%. So they're split on how low it's going to go, but there's, there's definitely agreement that there's going to be two to four rate cuts by the end of the year. Um, so basically, um, if you're thinking about selling a property, it hasn't been the best time in the last two months. A whole bunch of sellers have come to the market uh, in April and May, and inventory has been high. It's not been the highest been since it's since uh, the pandemic of 2020. Um, and so I've been telling all my sellers to hold off, wait. There's not enough demand from buyers. There are s s segments um, in North Vancouver, Vancouver, where I'm seeing multiple offer situations. Some uh, some of them going over 100,000 over asking price, but that's not the case for most properties. Um, so anyways, if you do own a condo or townhome and you haven't listed yet, but you're thinking about it, um, I per personally would take advantage of this rate cut happening next week in all likelihood um, and try to time it because there's usually a two to four week window um, when there's kind of low inventory or good news happening with interest rates coming down. So I do predict uh, the week of June 10th or June 17th to be an optimal time to list your property. Um, I've told some, several clients to get ready to list um, if this rate cut does happen, which I foresee it will happen next week. And uh, yeah, this is before the, the, school, the schools are out for summer, and then people won't be back until mid-September to start looking. So the, even with the interest rates dropping this summer, we're not going to see a massive pent-up demand in July and August. I think it will be quick, short-lived in June. Uh, similar to what we saw in February when we saw a rush around um, middle of February, and it kind of tailed off by the early March as we saw signs that they weren't going to cut the rates as soon as we first thought. So this is kind of a similar situation. I see a two to maybe in three-week window. By June 30th, I see it kind of dropping down and being just a very healthy, balanced market. We have a lot of extra listings compared to before, but I do expect... Uh, multiple offer situations more so than I have seen, been seen in the last two months. For example, say you own a two-bed condo downtown Vancouver with an assessment of nine hundred thousand, and you go to list it for eight ninety nine. In as in the case, most condos around that price range have been selling for maybe eight eighty or nine twenty twenty thousand above. It's a, if it's a really nice one. What I do foresee happening is that these condos might be selling for nine thirty nine forty with the extra cav uh, interest rate coming down. So buyers are going to be more opportune and make 
driving the offers higher. So if you are a seller, great news. If you're a buyer, not so much. It's going to become more competitive. Um, we're going to pay a higher price, but your interest rate in general overall is going to be coming down. So it's a kind of a interesting uh, situation to consider and really figure out how much extra it's going to cost you um, when you raise up your bid uh, over the asking price. So basically, as I said, there are pockets that are still busy and I foresee these pockets still being busy into June. Uh, one such um, area is Lower Lonsdale. Actually, North Vancouver in general has been doing very well in the last uh, couple months, even with the higher inventory. There's a lot of people that love North Vancouver and uh, you can get more um, property in general compared to the west side, east side of Vancouver. So I want to give you an example. I saw the other day through my Oakland real estate office, uh, one of our agents made an offer, a uh, subject free offer on a property, which is a duplex uh, on East Fifth Avenue. And it's a four bed, three bathroom built in 2003 and uh, 1700 square feet, not very large, but it does have a view of downtown from the upper level bedroom and patio. So obviously a really good location, but still not new, built in 2003. And uh, the assessment value on this duplex was 1.812. And uh, this past week, it was asking 1.820, so only 8,000 above the assessment value. Anyways, um, on May 26th, they had a deadline, which was on Sunday, and the winning bid came in at 1.951, uh, $131,000 over the asking price for a 2003 duplex in North Vancouver. This is not happening everywhere. Just let everyone know, you know, don't expect 60, even 70,000 over asking price for majority of properties. But there are pockets in special locations like Lower Lonsdale that are seeing hundreds of thousands of dollars over the asking price. And even downtown Vancouver, I, uh, I'm currently in a, I, I won a bid for one of my uh, clients. Uh, it's a two bedroom condo. It was asking 899, assessment value 950. And we were able to w win the bid out of three different offers. And uh, it's not even 950 yet. So we're still getting a good deal, but I do foresee these bids going up further with these rate cuts happening in the, the imminent future as I'm predicting. So more, more kind of data for everyone. There's a lot of people out there being very skeptical of my uh, video last week across Canada saying that Canadian real estate or Canadian interest rates are not going to go down at all in the future. Well, the can Canadian five-year bond yields are already dropping with this news of GDP coming in much lower than expected. Uh, inflation is going sideways now as of today. Uh, the U.S. Rep inflation report just came out and also job vacancies are um, going down as well across Canada this week. So there's all this data for Tiff Macklin, the Bank of Canada governor, um, to support his notion that it's time to drop the interest rate. Um, a reason why this inflation is so high is because a lot of the inflation is tied to higher mortgage costs due to the inf interest rate being so high and rents being so much higher. So once these rates uh, come down a bit, we will see uh, um, inflation come down. And what's more exciting is that out of all of Canada, Vancouver, West Coast sees the highest gas prices and it has a massive effect on inflation across Canada. And so just a couple months ago, I was predicting we would see a seasonal spike in gas prices. But if you look up the news recently, we were at a $2.10 $2 a liter. We're down, down to $1.75 and the gas experts are predicting that we will come down to around $1.65 um, in the next couple of weeks. So which is that's great news. That's going to cool our inflation because that affects uh, transportation costs and our food um, in, the, in the long run. So everything is really encouraging for inflation coming down and uh, interest rates to come down with lower GDP. Uh, the economy is not doing well in Canada. Tiff Macklem needs to stimulate it. And um, that is kind of what I'm seeing. The market psychology, I think, is going to shift dramatically uh, next week. It's not like we're going to see a massive um, rush like we saw in February where there was not much inventory to choose from. But I do expect activity to pick up maybe 20 to 30 percent um, starting on June 5th. Uh, so if you have, that's kind of my last couple of points of this video today. So you're probably watching this video because you're a buyer. What's a tip if you're a buyer? Well, go in, make an offer if you can before June 5th. Put an offer on the table because after June 5th, there's going to be more buyers coming out and looking at properties. Um, so that's what my first tip. Second tip, uh, once you do make an offer, make it for a completion date in September. Um, the longer you can push your completion date, the better because interest rates will be going down over the, the next three to six months. So it's going to be 
in your advantage to have a longer closing date than a shorter closing date. And most sellers are okay with that. Um, anyways, and that's actually what I'm going to be doing with my client. We're going to be completing in September instead of uh, July because the rates will be lower by September. So keep that in mind. If you know a buyer um, out there right now, um, let them know about this tip that I have uh, shared with you today. Um, last tip, if you're a buyer, um, don't look, this is a huge, huge tip. Do not look at the first and second page of new listings, especially after June 5th. Why? Because these listings are all ones that everyone's going to be seeing and there's going to be a new wave of buyers coming to market and they're going to be very emotional driven due to the fact that they see their interest rates are getting cut and they're not going to drop down to uh, page five, six, seven. And that's where you want to come in as a buyer and as a realtor myself where I go into the depths of my database and I want to find those listings that have been in the market for over 30, 40, 50 days. And those people will just be happy to get an offer and, or even a showing request. So keep that in mind. Do not get over excited when you see a new condo come to market. Um, they will get a lot of interest. Um, sellers will be doing better with the new, li new listings. And so that comes to my last point. If you're a seller, um, my major point is to relist your property. Do not reduce the, the price at all. Um, as I just mentioned, uh, people have a short attention span. And they, after page two, three, four, they'd stop looking. They like to look at the couple good ones on the first few pages and they want to go look at an open house. So um, if you have been on the market for a couple months, relist it, maybe um, drop the price a little bit, maybe a couple thousand, but nothing crazy. And uh, you will see a shift in psychology. More offers will be coming. More showings will start happening. You might have a listing on the market for the last three months. Go relist it. You're going to see a lot of renewed interest optimism over the next two to three weeks. As I said, June 10th or June 17th, uh, which is a Monday, will be optimal days to list your property um, and have an offer deadline on the following Monday, either the 17th or June 24th. Um, if you don't want to list then, I see the next optimal time to sell your property will be around middle of September, around the next Bank of Canada rate hike, and when all the kids are back in school and adults are back at their jobs and back from school holidays. So um, super optimistic about uh, the data that came out today. It's all leading to a rate cut next week or worst case, July 24th, but I'd say 90% chance it happens next uh, week on June 5th. And uh, Optimism for sellers. If you've been trying to sell and you haven't got many showings or any offers yet, don't be alarmed. I have some friends that have been house, has, have houses on the market and their realtors are trying to get them to reduce the price. Don't. Um, if they're doing that, get rid of that realtor. They're not being a, uh, a supportive realtor. Um, so just letting you know that uh, hope is on the horizon. It's coming very quickly. Uh, inflation down or inflation sideways in the States. We went down from 29 to 2.7% here in Canada just a couple of weeks ago. And uh, we do see multiple offer situations already with these higher interest rates. And so where do I see interest rates going? Well, they're around 5.3% for a five-year fixed rate. And the way the economists are foreseeing interest rates down to 4%, um, for the overnight rate, I see fixed rates being around 4%, maybe even 3.8, 3.7% by December. Um, so it's looking very rosy for sellers over the next three to four months. Um, however, just keep in mind, most buyers buy uh, in the first half of the year versus the second half of the year. So if you wait to sell until September, October, sure, the prices might, might be up a little bit, but don't expect a huge increase. Um, I do expect uh, a wave of buyers to come in very quickly here in June. A lot of people have been on the sidelines for the last two months and uh, they will eat up a lot of inventory that's been on the market um, over the coming weeks. So if you have any questions about your property, um, if, if it, when's a good time to sell, um, if your neighborhood is one of these areas that has multiple offer situations going on, feel free to reach out to me. Give me a call and uh, be happy to help you out. So hope you enjoy the video today. I hope you see where I'm coming from, why I, my opinion is that they're gonna cut the interest rate with the data points I've given you today. Uh, but feel free to reach out and comment down below uh, what your opinion is. And you, if you think even with this GDP data, they might still stop uh, cutting the rate and pause it once again. That's uh, the video today. Uh, smash the like button down below and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks and have a great day.